Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to easily install Python library from GitHub based on a specific commit hash or tag. You may find these steps useful when you want to have the newest package version, but it is not officially released yet and therefore not available through normal pip installation, or in some other scenarios like for example when you fork the same library and change it significantly to use for your own needs, or you created your own library but you have not published it yet. So let's go first to our project and create virtual env. I called my my env and let's activate it. Now we can install our pandas library. I chose as an example with normal pip installation to see the difference between those two. Now let's see the version that is installed. So you can see it's 1.2.3, it's the current release. And now let's uninstall it. And let's go to GitHub to see uh, the official code. So it's the place where we find all of the current changes. To install this library from GitHub, we need to have information about where this library is stored, so this URL, and also information uh, about how we want to name this package installed from GitHub in our project. We can all have it in this URL. As you can see, here is the path to the uh, storage, and here is in egg the name that I want to name it. I want to have the same name as in original, you can name it whatever. The installation may take some time. Depending on the package, it may take a really long time to install, so don't worry. And now let's see the version of the package. And as you may see, a uh, pandas version is now expressed as this URL with a uh, comet hash. And we just installed the newest version from GitHub with the newest code from the master branch. But if you want to install a specific past version of package based on a tag or a comet, you can do it as well. We just need to go to the github and decide on for example which tag we want we are interested in so let's say i am interested in um, this tag i need to take this name and just add it to and just add it to the url after the place where our library start we add dot get at and a tag name and the previous known hash egg and name of the library. So let's install it using this specific tag. We want to switch to the branch. Okay, so as you may see, it's finally installed. Let's see the version that is now present in this project. So it is a version with this tag and comments that we chose. Now let's finally see if we can use this package. So this package is available. Yeah, so that does it for it. See ya.